your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It's 516 here on this Thursday morning. We had some stronger storms moving through earlier. Now we're seeing a cold front sweep through the area and we have some broken, uh, a broken line really of scattered showers and storms kind of lining up along that as it races off to the south and east. We've really seen the intensity of our storms coming down over the last few hours, which is good because we have a several storm reports uh, with wind damage, power lines down, a lot of people without power this morning. Uh, and we did see quite a bit of large hail too earlier on in the late late parts of yesterday evening. Now we'll continue to watch that cold front sag to the south and east today. And that's all associated with this upper level low that we have spinning up here in Canada. So that really has that trailing cold front coming down here into northeast Kansas. This is going to continue its eastward progression through the day. So we may see a few lingering showers even behind the cold front this morning. Nothing's going to be severe after that cold front comes through. And you'll notice it comes through too. We've got some pretty gusty winds behind it, uh, but we may see those showers lingering until the early part of the afternoon and even seeing our clouds clearing out as well. So we should end the day with at least a bit of sunshine for most of the area. By the time we get to tomorrow, though, more increasing cloud cover. Uh, we should stay dry through Friday, but we do have a chance we could see a couple isolated showers late Friday night into early Saturday morning, maybe lingering to about lunchtime or so. In our southern counties, that who ha that's who has the best chance of seeing some light rain showers uh, throughout Saturday morning. Otherwise, we'll stay cloudy throughout the first half of the weekend. This is a look at our Holton camera. Still seeing some occasional flashes of lightning, but even that has come down too over the last hour or so, which is good uh, when we're talking about weakening storms. We want to see the lightning kind of taper off too. So we do still have some rain moving through occasional heavy downpours along this cold front. And we are seeing that moving into Topeka now as well. 59 degrees in Topeka. We are seeing that northeasterly breeze now about six miles an hour. And as we continue to watch that cold front sweep through, we'll all see our winds shifting around to the north. For now, our sustained wind speeds are about 15 to 25 miles per hour out of the north and northeast behind our cold front. Out ahead of it, still seeing a southerly breeze. And we do have some very warm temperatures. Uh, south of I-70 still as well this morning, but later today, once that cold front moves through, winds gusting about 30 to 40 miles per hour at times through this afternoon before finally tapering off a bit overnight tonight and into early tomorrow. We're seeing temperatures falling too, but still 70 degrees in Emporia right now. That's not going to last for too much longer. 59 currently in Topeka, down to 50 at Marysville along with Concordia. And we'll see our temperatures dropping for a little while this morning before we do see those trying to rebound later this afternoon. With that sunshine expected earlier in our northwestern counties, we may rebound up into the lower to middle 60s, but maybe stuck in the mid to upper 50s the further south and east that you are today with that extra cloud cover. Throughout the rest of the weekend, we stay a little bit cooler than average with high temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. We may even drop into the upper 30s occasionally over the next couple of nights, but we do see our temperatures rebounding back up into the 70s for early next week with a little bit better chance for rain Monday night into Tuesday.